Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new features that we've brought to the first 2023 release of Camera Bag, Camera Bag 2023.0. Um, I'll jump right in. So you may recall in the last update to Camera Bag, I'll go into the full screen preview chooser here. We added this little menu um, to let you jump to different sections in your presets, which is handy. Um, so uh, another thing that we've added in Camera Bag 2023, we've put that same menu over here, um, just above the tabs for the adjustments and presets. So if I'm in the presets tab and I click this, it will have all my different presets and I can jump to that section by clicking on that link. It'll also work in the adjustments tab to take you to, you know, whichever um, adjustment section you want to go to. So that is improvement number one. Um, improvement number two is a new preset type called a session preset. So what this is, um, and you can see there's a button here that to add a session preset. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what this is, is if, let me just choose some filter here. Uh, let's go with this guy. No, let's go with one that looks a little bit different. Let's go with this guy. Um, so say either I'd chosen this preset as I just did from other presets or I'd built this up from scratch. I can take out any of these and make it my own custom thing. Um, but in a, often in a session when you're editing photos, you wanna compare several different versions of your edit. And so uh, we made a special kind of preset that is only saved in the current session of camera bag that you're in. So. Um, once you close camera bag and open it back up again, those won't be saved and you don't have to name them because you could do this before by, you know, saving all of your different edits as presets, but then you had to name each one and then they'd stay there during your next session and they may well have only applied to that photo. So say I've got this version of this edit that I want to save. I can either click add session preset or I can just hit the plus button on my keyboard and it gives it this pop-up that says your current adjustments have been saved as a temporary preset in the sessions preset section as session preset one and each of the following session presets will be saved with an increasing index these presets will be auto deleted when you close camera bag or when you choose clear session presets from the menu so i'm going to hit okay so you can see it's opened up this new section here session presets if i click on that it will load this preset so perhaps, uh, you know, if I do a few edits and I like that version, I can hit plus again. It won't pop up that pop up every time I make a session preset, just on the first time each time, just so you remember it's going to delete them when you close camera bag. Um, but maybe I have those and then I go back into my filters and I like the look of, you know, this one and I hit plus and I go back in here and I like the look of this one and I hit plus. Um, then actually let's just do one. Then I clear all these out and I do some, you know, maybe a gamma curve adjustment and give it some saturation or something. And I like that one and I press plus. So now I've got these five different session presets for each time I press the plus button or you can push this button um, and you can delete these if you want if you know that you don't like a certain session preset just right click on them to delete them um, as it said in that little dialog uh, you can go to the file menu and choose clear session presets and it will delete all of them note that they'll also show up in the um, full screen preview chooser so i can skip to the section at the top which is my session presets and as with all filters in camera bag, I can arrow through them after I've chosen one. So I chose session preset one. I can press the down arrow to cycle through the different session presets or go back up. Um, so super handy way to just uh, try several different things and keep track of them. Um, and if you want to save any of these, you know, if I really like session preset four or five or something, and I want to save it as a normal preset, I can do that by hitting shift and the plus button or the normal save preset button and then I can name it and it will save it to my actual presets. But um, if you don't do that, then they will be deleted once you exit the app uh, and be waiting for a clean set of them for your next session. 
And again, if you want to clean that out, you can go to clear session presets when you load another photo. So that is uh, advancement number two. There's a third advancement in camera bag 2023, which is um, for all of the masks, we've added this extra um, option here to choose a preview color for that mask. So when I've got a mask like this spot mask, there's no adjustment that it's adjusting yet. So this, when I toggle it on and off, it has no effect and you can't really tell where the mask is masking. Um, but if I put the preview color to one of these preview colors, say red, then, you know, even without an adjustment, I can move that mask around. And then when I put on an adjustment like exposure, um, adjust the exposure, I can turn off the preview color and you can see just the, whoops, the um, effect of that adjustment using that mask. And so this can be handy for a number of things. Like for example, um, if I'm doing an HSV mask and I wanna just select the sky here, uh, I would turn the preview color to red and I can see that whatever this is, this hue and saturation and value region are affecting, it's turning red and it's kind of doing the opposite of what I want it to do. So if I wanted to do the sky, I'll slide this over till the sky hues are in there and see if adjusting some of these makes it a more bright red and you can see the saturation range is the big one. So I know that doing this, um, I'm selecting that sky background and then I can come turn the preview off and then do whatever I want with that. Uh, we can go do exposure again. Then when I change the exposure, it's just uh, doing it in that masked area according to those hue, saturation, and value uh, settings. So uh, those are three things that are, uh, I think, a significant improvement to camera bags workflows, especially those session presets. That's a really, really handy way um, just when you're wanting to, you know, fly through a session of, and you, you want to choose you know, try out 20 different things, but you don't want to commit to any of them until later. It's just a super handy way to do that. Um, so let us know what you think in the comments or uh, go to the help menu and choose the send feedback option and give us ideas of ways we can improve any of these things or ideas for other features that you'd like to see in the future. We hope that you love camera bag 2023. Um, and just a note, these features are all in both the photo and pro versions of Camera Bag. Um, so we hope you will enjoy it. Thank you.